and uh, let's get let's get to it today. Um, so uh, just real quick, let me just remind you where we're at and where we're heading. Um, some of you have not taken um, the the the. I don't want to use the word practice test because it's only like four or five questions. So it surely is not a practice test. Um, it's really more of a, you know, can you, can you navigate and get, get into the, um, can you use Google Chrome and get to the test? And um, can you um, manage honor lock the, the software? Um a lot of you did, some of you have not. Test number one, test number one, um, test number one uh, goes live today at 11.30. Okay, so test one goes live today at 11.30. Um, that, is, that is the real test um this is is just some kind of generic exercise that will ultimately get deleted um but this is the first test this is the first actual test i think you'll find it under assignments or quizzes i think either way either way you go you'll you'll see test one um if you click on quizzes i think you'll have test one there available to you uh it's 20 questions um and um you know make sure you get that done so just so you know, uh, you have until uh, tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. So you have 24 hours, okay? Uh, it starts today at 11.30 and it goes till tomorrow at 11.30. All right, so you have a 24-hour window um, to take test one. And um, I would encourage you to please get online and take that, okay? Please get online and take that. You will need to do it on a computer where you have um, um, a webcam. Now, additionally, once you get done with the test, I need you to send me your scratch paper via email, text message, however you want to do it. Get me your scratch paper immediately following you submitting your test. Uh, I had people last semester who submitted the test on, on, on Sunday night. And then three weeks later, it's would submit their work to me. That does me no good. Uh, I need to see your work immediately following the test. So as soon as you get done, just take your phone out. Um, yeah. You know, take a picture, email it to me. Uh, let me just make sure that you have my email address. Uh, my email address is sdryer at polk.edu. You can find me through Canvas if you want to. Uh, sdryer at polk.edu. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, if for some reason you need to, uh, um, Um, the whole reason I went to my phone was so I could get my damn phone number. Um, if you need to call me or send me a text message, 863-455-9889. You can message me, you can send me a text message, or you can just straight call me, 863-455-9889. Um, and I will, uh... I'll, I'll answer your call. Okay. Um, 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 So uh, please, 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 if you want to take a picture and send it to me via text message, that's fine too. 
Uh, if you send it to me via text message, please include your name so I know who the heck you are. Um, I get a lot of text messages from students. I have no idea who you are or what class you're in. Um, and so, um, again, if you want to, if you want to send them to me on, well, don't send it to me on that. Okay. If you want to message me on snap, my, my username is S dryer 2019, but please don't send me your, your, your work like that. All right. I and mean, if you want to message me and say, Hey, I'm not going to come to class. That's, I mean, I don't, that's fine. I mean, you can do that, but, um, don't, don't send me school stuff through that because that's got to go through one of the official channels. Okay. Um, all right. So please, by all means, uh, let's take care of that. All right. Any questions on, on that? Okay. Um, again, number the number one way I prefer it is if you email it to me. Uh, use your email address and your, your Polk email address and send it to me via that way. Okay. All right. Um, so, like I say, test one is live. I, I, I would encourage you to get it done. And, and just so that we're straight, just so that we're straight. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 people logged in. Um, that means I think seven or eight people are not logged in. Um, all, as always, if you're not logged in, and, and some of you may be watching this at home later, um, you're responsible for what, what we say and do in class. Okay? Um, I, I just know that there's going to be some people who, 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 please forgive me, cry ignorance that they didn't know the rules or they didn't know what was happening and they, oh, I didn't know and how are you going to punish me for not knowing? You're responsible for knowing what happens in class if, you, if you're here or not. Um, Brittany, I appreciate you telling me that you're moving and that you may not be here on Monday, but that you're going to go back and watch the video. Okay? Yes. Um, that's, that's all you got to do is just go back and watch the video if you're not here. Um, they're all saved and you should be able to go back and watch them pretty easily. I, and I say that, Brittany, I, I assume it's pretty easy. I've never actually done it, but I assume it's pretty easy. Okay. What is? Huh? What's well, pretty easy? Going back and watching the videos after the fact. Oh, um, kind of. I start to lose interest. Yes. Yeah. Well, I would imagine, uh, especially because there's a lot of dead time when people are trying to work stuff and you're just sitting there. Um, yeah. So, um, no, it's that part I would imagine is pretty hard. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, I don't have anything else to say about that. Uh, any questions? Test um, one over today. Before we start the, the chapter two today, mm -hmm. um, took the short little test run test. And I don't know if you remember the last question. It was question five. Okay. Well, it was asking uh, about we had to do an equation, then we had to see if it's like uh, the equation was an identity, a contradiction, or conditional. Yeah, that. You remember that. It's been a while since I've done that. Could we go over those? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, So, in, in a situation that you're describing, um, it's a problem that looks something, you know, it, it, it could look something similar to this, where you have uh, 3, 2x plus 5, minus 4. We can't see your screen. Thanks. Now, now you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, equals two x plus seven, for example. All right. So you're solving this, and it, and you're asking yourself, 
is this an identity? Is this a contradiction? Or is this conditional? And you're going to do this, and you're going to get 6x plus 15. You're going to do this, you're going to get minus 4x minus 20. You're going to get this, and you're going to get 2x plus 14. 6x minus 4x is 2x. Plus 15 minus 20 is minus 5. This is equal to 2x plus 14. So you're solving it. You're solving it as you normally would. But what you're looking for is, in this case, the 2x and the 2x cancel. You end up with negative 5 equals 14. And therefore, this is a contradiction. All right. If you ended up with negative 5 equals negative 5 or 14 equals 14, you would call that an identity. If you ended up with x equals 2, like 5x equals 10, x equals 2, you call this conditional. So those are the three answers you would be able to get. If the x's cancel, it's either a contradiction or it's identity based on whatever you have left. And if the x's don't cancel and you get x equals some number, we call that conditional. All right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I, I know you have to solve the equation in order to, I, to see which one is which. I just, I couldn't remember what a identity equation looks like and what a contradiction yeah. is conditional. It all looked familiar. I just yeah. forgot. The terms, you recognize the terms. I yeah. call it the high school union effect. effect. High school yeah. union effect. It's people you recognize and you just don't remember. Um, All right. Um, any questions on that? All right. Let, let's go here. We're going to continue the conversation we were having yesterday um, where I'm going to give you a picture. We're going to call this um zero two we're going to call this zero three i want to know this is f of x i want to know what is the domain what is the range when is it increasing when is it decreasing? Go.
All right. Time to call on somebody. But in order to call on somebody, I got to see who's here. Amisha, hey, Amisha, take me off mute for a second. Talk to me, baby. Uh, there's four problems here, Amisha. You remember how that last time, how that last time you, you fell for the whole singing thing? You remember? Let's see if I can trick you again into doing it. How do you feel about these four? <laughs> All right, Amisha. Uh, how do you feel about the domain? Do you feel how do you feel about that? Not quite. Close, but not quite. Close, but not quite. Uh, let's see who else we can call on. Um, Leela. Leela. Yeah. How do you feel about the domain here, Leela? Um, I, I feel like I got it, but it's just weird. Well, she said negative infinity too. Um, that's not quite it. What did you say? I said negative infinity to zero. That's not quite it either. Yeah. So. How about negative infinity to infinity? That's what I put. Um, is that at least saying that's what she put? Yeah. All right. So when we read the domain, we're reading it from left to right. Um, as you look at it and you go left, you do get to zero and stop, but then you pick right back up at zero. All right. So you're going from zero to infinity now. So that ultimate domain is negative infinity to infinity. Okay. Um, from this point to this point, you're changing cars, but you're in the same station, if that makes sense. Leela, have you ever ridden uh, like the subway system? Yes. So if you, if it makes sense, you know you you start here at point A, you get to a, a station, you might jump off that station and, and get on to another car that ultimately takes you to another location. Does that make sense? Right. But you're still going from point A to point B. You're just doing it on different cars. Mm -hmm. You're still going from negative infinity to infinity. You're just jumping on different cars in order to do it. Um, and, and because you, here you're at zero and here you're at zero, um, you you just you stay at you know zero is included and you just keep on moving. It's very very tough to see this. I mean it's I mean once you see it it's not that hard, but the right. getting the hang of it, true, very difficult, very very difficult. Um, what's the range? What did you put for that? I put negative infinity zero, but would it be negative infinity to infinity? It would be negative infinity to three. Negative infinity, it's going down. And what's the highest point you get to? Uh, three. The highest point you get to is three. It doesn't, there's no arrow going up. 
it stops at this point right here, which is three. So the range is negative infinity to three. All right. When's it increasing? Never. If we put you on the car here, <laughs> are you going up or down? Up. So it's increasing from negative infinity to zero, and it is decreasing, right? Yeah, from, from zero, zero to infinity. infinity. Okay, and that's an endpoint, so we'll go ahead and use that. Again, that, that stuff is hard. I mean, that, it is when you first seen it for the first, second, third time, it is tough. By about the 400th time, you get the hang of it. By the thousandth time, you're like, oh, piece of cake. But um, if you're still if you're still under, say, 20, um, it, it, it it's these are tough problems to look at. All right. Um, all right. Any questions on that? Any questions on that? All right, let's look at this one. Same same basic problem. So we're going to call this point zero one. We're going to call this point zero two. What is the domain? What is the range? When is it increasing? When is it decreasing? All right. All right. All right. Where? Hey, hey, uh, Leela. 
Yeah. Have you talked to MJ? Do you know where MJ went? No, I haven't. Do not know. Hey, me, Lisa. Are you friends? Yeah. Are you friends with? Are you friends with MJ? No. But would it be bad, me, Lisa, if I just caught him up right now in front of God and everybody? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not really. let, let me ask you a question, Melissa. If you skip class, do you want me to do you want me to call you and, and put you on speakerphone for the rest of the people to hear? No. I, I won't do that then. Okay. I'll just text him and ask him where in the hell he's at. After that, I'll text his mama. Yeah. Hey, Melissa, would you be mad if I texted your mama? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melissa, um, you don't know this, but I know your mama. And um, if you get this right, I'll tell her how proud I am of you and that you're doing a great job in class. If you okay. don't get it right, I'm going to tell her that um, she needs to have a real talk with you. All right. <laughs> Melissa, no pressure. What's the domain? Um, negative infinity to infinity. Your mama would be so proud. <laughs> um, negative infinity to infinity. All right. What's the range? Uh, negative infinity to infinity. Um, very good. Melissa, I am so proud of you. Um, um, what about increasing, decreasing? Um, for increasing, I said never. And for decreasing, I said negative infinity to infinity. Um, uh, uh, increasing, I agree, is never. Okay. Decreasing, I would go ahead and split these up. Um, but you know what? I think you could get by saying negative infinity to infinity. So good job. Okay. Oh, excellent work. I'll call your mom and tell you she, that she should be proud of you. So um, even though it goes up from the zero one to zero two, you don't count that as increasing because it's not uh, connected or what? No. So, so no, you don't because it's not connected like that. If they were connected, then you would. Okay. Um, if we're being honest, Melissa, I would do it this way. Um, I would go ahead and put that, that break in there. Okay. Uh, but if you didn't, I think I'd give you credit. At least if this were uh fill in the blank test, I would anyway. Mr. Dreyer, how did the question before where it looked just like the zero comma two, how did that, how was that considered increasing when this one? Yeah. Like, so, so great question. Um, so if we put a car over here, right? Remember we were picking on Leela. If we put a car over here, this is going uphill, is it not? Yes. Notice that this one is going downhill, right? If you put a car here, it's rolling downhill, yeah? Yes. So this is decreasing. And then over here, it's decreasing. But why would you put, so if we're putting the car at the arrow every time or at the point? You're putting it on the left side every time. Oh, okay. Every time it's on the left side. That makes All right. sense. Let, let's try it. Let's try one more. Let's go here. I'm going to close this in.
Let's go here. We're going to close this in. Let's go here. We're going to close this in. And then let's go. Let's go here. And we're going to close this in. All right. So this is negative four, three, negative four, negative one, uh, five, negative one, five, zero. Let's go domain range. Increasing, decreasing. I'll have some follow up questions. Go ahead. All right. Um, poll time.
Wow, Elise, look at that. Elise, uh, six people think you should be the one who gives the answer. I don't have Starbucks today. It's just like a cup. <laughs> oh, hey, everyone. She's trying to act poor now, but it's too late. I mean, we all know. I mean, we all know, Elise. We know this system. I mean, it's too late, Elise. No going back now. Um, um, so, Elise, it's up to you. This is your moment. Give me the domain. Okay, domain is negative infinity to infinity. Okay, what's the range? Range is negative infinity to four, and then space it, and then do five to infinity. Uh, we're going to hold off on the range. Range is not quite right. Increasing. Okay, um, increase, I didn't have an increase. I mean, like, you didn't know how to do it, or like, you didn't have it, like, it doesn't exist. There's not one. Okay, so it's none. Good. Yeah, none. And then decrease is probably wrong too, since I got range wrong. Oh, well, no, go ahead. What did you put? I put like the same thing. You So you put negative infinity? So four and then five to infinity. So it's negative infinity to negative four mm -hmm. and five to infinity. Yeah. That part is correct. The decreasing is right. Uh, who thinks they have the range? Range is tough. Range here is tough. Uh, I mean, you got to be somebody ultra special to get the range here. <laughs> um, and then right on cue, there's Blaine. Go ahead, Blaine. Um, isn't it just negative infinity to infinity? No. Well, let me say this. Hold on, Blaine. Let me go back and look at it because I, I might have forgotten. Yes, it is not negative infinity to infinity. Good mm -hmm. answer, though. Jesus is always going to bring you home, but just not this time. Anybody. Now, let me tell you what's at stake for all of you who want to give an answer. If you get it right, you may you may supersede Blaine on the top of the leaderboard. Leela, this is your moment to take over. Maybe you need uh, to see it again. Yeah, I need to look at it again. Wait, I think I got it. I'm lost. I think I have it. Can I try again? Yeah, of course. Okay, so it's negative infinity to one and then zero to infinity. Mm, not quite. You're close. Let's look at the range. So we read it from bottom to top, right? So it's going to go from negative infinity up to zero. Um, and then it's going to jump from zero up to three. Does everybody see that? On the Y values, I'm jumping from zero and I'm jumping up to three. And so it's going to go negative infinity to zero, union three to infinity. All right. Question. Yeah. How does the one on the right, how is that negative infinity yeah. for range, but it's infinity for domain? Great point. This arrow here is going down, which is on the Y value going to negative infinity, but it's also going to the right, which on the X value is going to positive infinity. Right. 
Thank you. Uh huh. Any questions? This, like I say, reading these graphs is very, very difficult. Let, let's try another one similar to this just so you can get another chance to practice it. Because I, I think, you know, these are hard to see. And, and if you're struggling with it, you're, you're not alone. I swear to you, you're not alone. All right. Questions? Let's go here. Let's go here. Close circle. Call this negative uh, three one. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. So this is negative three, negative two. This is negative three, negative two. Negative three, one. Negative three, negative one. All right, let's go domain, range, increasing, decreasing. Wouldn't that second one just be three, not negative three? Say it again, please. Like. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes good point. Thank you. Good, great point. Yes, that should be a positive three.
All right. Um, hey, Blaine. Yes. Blaine, I, have you ever seen the movie Lion King? <sighs> yeah, I have. Well, well, why, why decide? Lion, Lion King was is is an American classic. Because <laughs> I know what you're getting at. What, what am I getting at, Blaine? The songs from Lion King. No, no, actually, not at all. Actually, oh, not at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I like Lion King. It's good. Okay. Um, in, in Lion King, in, in the mathematical metaphor of Lion King, you, uh -huh. you, Blaine, are, uh, are Mufasa. Right, right now, you're yeah. king of the jungle. Now, Elise is like Simba. <laughs> See, Elise just can't wait to be king. Um, and do you remember what happened in Lion King? I die. Yeah, you die, actually. That <laughs> <laughs> eventually Simba takes over. Now, there there are more than one Simbas, right? Because there's the crazy ass uncle. Leela's the crazy ass uncle. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate, though. <laughs> And then there's Sasha, right? Sasha, Sasha, Sasha is like, I don't know who Sasha is in The Lion King, but maybe Sasha wants to be Simba. Sasha, do you want to be Simba? <clears throat> Sasha, we can, um, like, I don't want to. We can metaphorically kill Blaine off as the leader of the of the of the uh, of the jungle if you get this question correct. Now, Blaine, we're not going to kill you off, right? We're not going to hang you on a wall like you did for that that bear behind you. Um, but but mathematically, uh, we're going to move Sasha to the end of the jungle here. Um, All right. And um, if she can get it right, Sasha, do you have an answer? Um, I have an answer, but that doesn't mean it's right. You know what, Sasha? We don't let things like we don't um uh we don't worry about things like if it's correct. We just need answers. Okay. Go. What's the domain? For domain, I got negative infinity. Infinity. Hey Blaine, I don't want to tell you, but y'all right now are creeping towards that that big ass canyon. Sasha, what's the range? Uh, for the range, I got infinity, ne negative infinity to infinity. Ah. Uh. All right, what's the increase and decrease? Um, I didn't get increasing, but for decreasing, I got negative three to negative infinity and then three to infinity. Okay, so let, let, let's talk about it. Um, first of all, the range. The range is the Y values, yes? The range is the Y values, yes? Yeah. All right. So in order for you to have positive infinity, um, in order for you to have positive infinity, you have to have an error that's coming up. In order for this to be positive infinity, you have to have an error pointing up. In order for you to get negative infinity for the range, you got to have an arrow pointing down. Okay. This arrow is pointing down. Do we agree? Yeah. This one is pointing down. Do we agree? Yeah. So these are both negative infinity for the range. Okay. Where is the arrow that points up? I thought it was one or negative three. So it would be like infinity or something. If it if it continued this way, it would be to infinity. But it doesn't continue that way. So uh, the range is actually from the bottom, which is negative infinity, to the highest point, which is going to be up to one. 
it's going to be up to one. Negative infinity to one. Okay. When's it increasing? When's it increasing? So negative infinity to negative three. Yes. Negative infinity to negative three. It's decreasing from three to infinity. Notice we put the car over here. Here's Leela. Okay. Leela's getting taller with longer arms. Um, it's three to infinity, and we're going to put a bracket on the three here because the three is an endpoint. All right. All right. Any questions or notes? Yes. Yes. What's your question? Or, so you, it wouldn't be like union for anything for the range? No. For domain? No. So here's the reason why. All right. Here's the reason why. For the domain, you stop here and then you pick up here. This is just a transfer. Does that make sense? But one of those two points is included. It's just a transfer and one of those two points is included. So we go from here to here as a transfer. We go from here to here as a transfer. It's not a, it's not a lateral jump. It's a transfer straight up and down. So every point is included from negative infinity to infinity. Now, let, let's suppose, let suppose that we did this. We went to here and then we started here and went this way. Let's say this is negative five, negative two. And let's say this is negative three, one. Then when I read the domain, it would be negative infinity to negative five. And then it would be a jump to get to negative three. Does that make sense? Like you're jumping over. If this is pitfall, you're jumping over the alligator to get to the three. Is, it because, to is it because it's an open circle? It's because it's an open circle, but it's because you're going from negative five to a whole new X value. Okay. Hear, hear that again. On the X values, you're at negative five. And then the next X value you get to, the next X value you get to is negative three. You're jumping from here all the way to negative three. See, on this problem, if we're looking at the X values, you're, you're, you're at negative three. And when you jump, where do you jump to? Three. You jump, no, from here no. to here. Oh, right. You see what I'm saying? You're going yeah. from negative three and you're jumping and you're landing on negative three. I see. So you just continue on. And then when you get to three, you're stopping at three, but you're making a jump. And where are you jumping to? Three. Well, you're still jumping to three. And so that's why it goes from negative infinity to infinity. Now, uh, if I say that this is an open circle, right? If I say this is an open circle, then you're jumping from three to three, but neither one of those two is included. So it would be negative three to three, and then you'd have an open circle on the three because of the fact that it's not included. A lot, lots of little little secrecies there that that, that can be very tough to to, uh, to digest. Mm -hmm. All right. The open circle wouldn't change the domain being negative infinity to infinity, right? In this case, if they were both open circles, it would change it to negative infinity to three, union three to infinity. Oh, because it's not included. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If that's a closed circle like it was, now we're back to negative infinity to infinity. <clears throat> All right. Give me one second. Well, well let's just do another one because I think, I think extra practice will help.
Hey, Derek. Derek, can you hear me okay? Hey, Derek. How do you feel about this one? Hey, Brittany. Yeah. Um, where are you moving to? Not, not, not like the address. Are you staying in Auburndale, or are you are you going to upgrade yourself and move to Winter Haven? Actually, Winter Haven over by Eagle Lake. That is a major upgrade. Yes. But what you'll find is we don't care about our high school near as much as Auburndale does. It is true. Like Winter Haven, I don't know if it's because we have multiple high schools in Winter Haven, but Auburndale, man, they they actually like really care about their high school. Like that Bloodhound Bass that they do in the city. Like, are you serious? You're gonna close down the whole damn downtown Auburndale for a damn parade? I never went to it, but the food's usually pretty good. I've heard. Yeah, but you know, if you're in Winter Haven, you can still go to the parade. It's totally allowed. Yeah, I wasn't really much into any activities at high school because I went to four different high schools. So, wow, wow, kind of did not do all that. Oh, okay. okay. But I did graduate from Arbondale. That was the last high school I went to. How was it? Yeah. Were you there with Mr. Uh, Bruno or were you there with uh, Mr. Hill? Mr. Hill. Um, it was actually his last year was when I graduated in 2018. So. so you might know my son, David. Last name? Dreyer. Oh, duh. Um, it's okay. Did he graduate the same no, year? No, he, he, he would have been a freshman or a sophomore. Freshman. Yeah, he would have been a freshman. Yeah, no, I... Really socialize that much, and especially now with the freshmen, right? Yeah. Uh, when did what years were you there? Because I had three other siblings graduate from there. Baby, I'm from Virginia. You said you went. You coached at Auburndale. I do coach at Auburndale. Oh, you I, do now. I, I I don't. I didn't go there. Oh. I only coach there because my son's there. Like this is my last year, Brittany. After this. We got to cut that loose. Well, how long uh, did you coach there for? When did you start coaching? Three years ago when he got there. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do stuff just for the hell of it. Um, I'm president of Auburndale basketball, and I told him as soon as my kid stops playing, I'm done being president. They're like, no, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, I can't actually. When my kid's not involved, that's somebody else's problem. So in the meantime, let's figure out who we're going to talk to now. Uh, I vote. Hey, Leela. Yeah. Yeah. Who should we call on? I think we should call on Ty. <laughs> Leela, that's my girl right there. Yeah. That's my girl. I was thinking like, okay, who can I call on that will say call on Ty, right? Uh, Melissa, she was going to want to call on MJ, and MJ don't even have his ass over here, right? Like, I texted MJ, and MJ didn't respond back. MJ, if you're watching this later on, know I love you, and get your butt up and get to class, because it's kind of boring when you're just sitting there, all right? Hey, Ty, Ty, Leela says you should do this, Ty. Leave me alone is not, like, don't, hey, Leela, can you just envision Ty right now? Ty is probably sitting at home like hiding somewhere under his under his blanket or something hoping that he wasn't going to get called on today and then you're like oh let's call on ty um 
can't yeah, hide right. forever. Die. Young Simba, what do you got for the domain? Hey, Leela. Yeah. I was scared there for a minute. I thought he was just not going to respond. He was just going to go. Just leave. Right, right. I was going to be like, you know what? <laughs> not my problem. Young Simba says negative infinity to infinity. Very good answer, but not quite. Dude, I very good answer. I, I literally don't know. <laughs> uh, no, negative infinity to infinity is a real good answer, but not quite. Uh, Blaine, Blaine, Thank reestablish you. yourself here, Blaine. <clears throat> I think it's um, negative infinity to four, negative four, and then three to infinity. The domain, the domain, negative infinity to three. Well, Union three to infinity. Well, I did. Oh, oh, yeah. So let's look at it. Why aren't we? Why are we stopping at three? But we're not stopping at negative four. I did negative four. That's what I said. Maybe I misspoke. I don't know. The first uh, yeah, one did negative infinity to negative four. Yeah, but we're we're not stopping at negative four. Okay, we're and 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 people are like, what the hell do you mean we're not stopping? We are stopping. We're stopping at negative four, but then when we jump, we jump to negative four, and negative four is included. So that allows us to continue on without a break. Oh, okay. Okay. See, but if it was here, if both they were open, if they were both open, then you'd have to put negative infinity to negative four. So you carry on to the three all the way at the right hand side of that. Yep. So I go from negative infinity. I stop at negative four, but then I include negative four. So it's not really a stop at all. It's just a transition. I, okay. I haven't really gotten off the train at all. And then I ride it over to three. Now, this is where. Okay. I'm not, I'm not at three here. When I jump to the other train, I'm not at three, right? So both of these are not at three. And then it goes three to infinity. Okay. So, again, very, very subtle there. Uh, the differences between an open print, an open circle, and a closed circle, and, and the bottom line is, if I'm being honest, um, you know, in intermediate algebra we discussed this, but not not nearly like we are right now. And so, some of you are really learning this for the very first time uh, yesterday and today. And it, and unfortunately, it takes time. Like it's not an easy task where you just look at it and go, oh, <laughs> clear. Um, for some of you, you might be able to. But for most of you, th this is this is a struggle. I mean, it's very difficult to do. All right, what's the range? What's the? You know what? Let's go back to to tie. Let's go back to tie, because I feel like I feel like, you know, I mean, yeah, Michael Jordan misses a shot here and there, but you know what? It's still a good option. All right, he's just guessing at this point. Um, let's ask Andrew. Andrew, can you not just guess at this point? Or are you just guessing at this point too? Andrew? Are you dead, man? Perfect. 
It is negative infinity to infinity. It is negative infinity to infinity. Now, why is that? You're going to go from negative infinity up to one, right? And then this is just a repeat of what you've already said. And really, all of this part is a repeat to, up to what you've said, because you've already said up to one. So it's negative infinity to one. And then this portion over here will take you past one and go to infinity. So the range here is negative infinity to infinity. Wait, I don't get why. So why is the range... It doesn't matter that both circles are open. Great question. Um, this one goes from negative infinity up to one. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. And then this one goes from negative two up to infinity. Yes. But don't you have to jump to the one below it and then it falls all the way through because it's connected? Yeah, yeah. But let me ask you a question. There's a point here on this graph. Yes. Mm -hmm. Straight across from this one. Isn't that y coordinate negative two? Yes. Okay. So you wouldn't go below that. Okay. So the negative two is included, even though it's not included here, it's included here. The one over here is included, even though it's not included there. So the one and the negative two are both included. They're just included at different spots of the graph. Okay. Okay. But with this one, the the three is not included in either one of those two spots. Oh, so that's why you did you split it? Okay. Yep. All right, that makes sense. All right. Any questions on on that? What's increasing, decreasing? Who thinks they got it? Who thinks they got it? I mean, Lisa, you think you got it? Um, I said never for increase. You said never? Mm -hmm. Okay, what did you say for decrease? Um, I said negative infinity to negative four uh, with the union and then three to negative infinity. Three to, or three to infinity. Positive infinity. Three to positive infinity. Yep. Any questions? Any questions? All right. All right. Now, at this point, uh, I'm going to leave this this conversation. Um, uh, want to be very clear here. Uh, I'm going to leave this conversation for today. Please, 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 please go look at section 2.1 in the book. Uh, 2.1 discusses uh, symmetry. It discuss, uh, discusses increasing, decreasing, um, constant, domain, and range. Please go look at section 2.1. While I say I'm going to leave it, no tie that I'm not going to leave it forever. Um, we're going to talk about this again on Monday. Uh, when we're back together on Monday, um, we're going to talk about uh, increasing, decreasing. Um, do I have YouTube videos on it? Well, that's a good question, Sasha. Let's take a look. I don't know that I have a whole lot of YouTube videos on this. Hold on. Let me look. So on YouTube, if you go to my channel, uh, type in Stephen Dreyer. Um, and then you want to type in college algebra. I have a playlist. And where's the playlist? All right. So for this one, it's definitely. Um. I have a 38-minute uh, a test review, and I'm not sure if we talk about increasing, decreasing, or not on this. Um, I feel like I've done a video for it, but I just don't see it. All right, and it's not it's not part of this this 38 minutes, I don't think. Could you have done it in a live stream?
Um, I I don't don't remember. Um, I, I don't remember. Did I do it last year on a live stream? I don't think so. Um. It, although, you know what? If you go back to um, I have some help sessions I did too. And it, it may be on one of these. Um it, it could be in one of these. I don't, I don't know that for sure. And if it is, I, I don't know which one to tell you to go look at. But um, it, it could be one of those. All right. But those do keep in mind there's three classes going on at once there. So you got to kind of pick and choose. You know, you got to watch it a little bit. And then when I get to another class, start fast forwarding it. All right. Um, but it, it probably was given on, on some kind of live stream. Um, yes, you're doing the test on honor lock for sure. Yes. All right. Other questions on that? I know right. the test is open for 24 hours, but once you start it, is there a time limit on it? Yes, there is. Um, it's 90 minutes. Okay. And there's 20 questions? Yes. Okay, sweet. Uh, so you should you should have plenty of time. You you should have plenty of time. Um, you know, again, uh, a calculator is provided for you. Okay, so on the test, there there's a calculator provided in the in the little thing there. Um, so you can feel free to use that. Um, so you don't need a calculator. There's one on the screen there, and then um, using your phone will be, you know, using your phone will be an F. Just so you know. Can we uh, use the calculator if we want? What's that? Do we have to just use the test calculator or can we use our own? Um, if you show me which, which one you're using, as long as it's like a TI-30X, like a small non-graphing calculator, you're fine. All right. Okay, but you can't use a graphing calculator. Um, so any, any questions on that? All right. Um, Let me see here. Hold on for a second. Yeah, see, so we were supposed to be um, well into chapter two by now. All right, so let, let us, and it's okay because that last discussion was very important. Um, I want to talk about let's let's look at how we shift graphs. So um, who knows what y equals the absolute value of x looks like? Who knows what that who, who knows what it looks like? It's the V. It's the V. Good job, Elise. Good job, Melissa. Um, it is a V. So this graph looks like this okay and what we want to do now is talk about what happens if i look at this and and start putting pieces with the x outside the x and what do these pieces do okay um Now, let's talk about what happens when you have a number inside the function with the x. So if it's inside the function, with the x, what does that do? That's going to shift it right and left. OK? So inside the function with the x, we'll shift it right and left. So this is going to go left two units so one two 
this is going to shift it. So if it's outside, it's going to go up and down. So this is going to go up four units. So if I were to graph this, the way it would look is it goes left two, up four, and then this becomes my 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 parabola or my V I just drew. Now there's going to be a lot of confusion about why the plus two makes it go left two. Okay, it would make a lot of sense if I told you it was going to go right two up four. Like everybody would go, mm, okay, sounds good. Plus two, plus four. It goes opposite for this reason. If you have absolute value of x plus five and you shift it, if you shift it to the right five, then what you're saying is when you plug in x is five, you get y equals zero. Well, here's the problem. If you plug in x is five, you're not getting zero. Do you see what I'm saying? If you plug in X is five, you're not getting zero. What do you have to plug in? Negative five. You've got to plug in X is negative five in order to get Y is zero. You see? Negative five plus five, that is equal to zero. So the bottom line is this. When it's on the inside, it's going to go opposite the way you think it should go. So one, two, three, four, five, it's going to go this way. Does that make sense? So inside the function, it goes opposite. Outside the function, it, it goes the way you would expect it to go. Okay. Any questions on that? Questions on that? Anybody? Anybody? Inside, opposite, outside, the way you expect it to go. All right, let's look at one. Let's go y equals x squared. That's the graph we're going to use. And then let's graph y equals um x plus two squared minus three let's graph that and then let's graph y equals x minus four squared plus two let's graph both of those
All right. What, what are we looking at here? All right. What are we looking at? So the you first thing is, the first thing, Blaine, hold on. The first thing we got to figure out is what does that graph look like? So you remember when we, we talked uh, briefly yesterday or the day before um, about memorizing those, those basic pictures, right? And this is what I'm saying. Um, you you got to know those basic pictures because when I say, hey, graph this, you need to know, okay, what does that picture look like? Now, again, um, I've, I've been honest about the fact that I, I don't care if you if you use your notes okay but i will tell you this and I, and i've taken um um at least I, i've taken a lot of tests in my life some of the hardest tests i ever took were ones that were open notebook because what i found myself doing is spending a lot of time searching for answers and i quickly learned after about the second time that I ought to just study for it like it's not going to be open notes. And that way I don't have to spend so much time searching for answers. Uh, because what I found what I was doing was I'm searching, 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 searching for answers. And then I eat up all my time searching for answers. Um, so, you know, kind of like the SAT, you know, people will say, well, don't read the, don't read the passage. Well, I say read the questions first and then kind of skim read the passage. Don't just not read it all together because I don't know how effective it is just to go looking around hoping you find it. Okay. So uh, what does X squared look like? Elise, what does X squared look like? It's like a U shape. It's a U shaped. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the first thing to recognize is, is that this, this picture looks U-ish, and that's kind of a terrible drawn use, but uh, you you certainly get the idea. And I just drew it exactly the same way twice. But anyway, um, now what's the plus two going to do, Elise? Um, go to the left two. It's going to shift it to the left two units. It's going to shift it to the left two units. Um, what's the minus three going to do? Um, go down three. So we're going to go left two, down three, and then we're going to uh, draw this this kind of U right here. Okay. Now, now, Derek, what is the uh, minus four going to do? <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. Thanks. The minus four, Derek, is going to go to the right four units. Absolutely. So this is going to go to the right four units. Plus two is going to do what? It's going to shift it to the right or up two. So right four, up two, we're here. We're drawing this U, yeah? Now, Derek. To jump everybody else and move to the top of the leaderboard. To jump everybody and move straight to the top of the leaderboard. What's the Y intercept? Derek, bring it home. <laughs> uh Blaine, he's throwing it to you, Blaine. I have no idea. Oh man. I haven't learned Leela. how to do this yet. Or I forget. Leela. Leela, who should we ask? Hi. 
Hey, it's Todd, Tom bring it home, Todd. Todd. Right now, Ty, you're the preacher at the end of the service, man. We just need you to come on in here. Let's get this amen. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ty, we need the benediction. Let's go. Ty? Ty? Oh. All right, how about how about zero eighteen? How about zero eighteen? And people go, what? How about zero? You crazy? Uh, let's look. How do you find the y intercept? How do you find the y intercept? Who remembers? Is Plug it the... in what? Oh no, never mind. Plug in x is equal to zero. Yes. Oh yeah. That's the way it's been your whole life. You plug in x is zero, you get zero minus four, you square that, plus two. Zero minus four is negative four, squared is 16. 16 plus two is 18. To find the y-intercept, plug in x is zero. Okay? A lot of people forget that because it seems so long ago. And on some level, it probably was a long time ago. <laughs> All right. Any questions? All right. Did we use up all the slides today? I think we did. All right. So uh, with that being said, just a reminder, test number one opens up in eight minutes. It does open up at 11.30 a.m. That test is going to run until uh, tomorrow at 11.31 a.m. Okay. So uh, I actually is due tomorrow at 11.30. So um, you have 24 hours starting in eight minutes. So please take test number one. When you get done, email me your, uh, email me your, uh, your paper, your scratch work. All right, so I can check it. Uh, again, I do reserve the right to have you verify your, your score um, verbally. So um, make, make sure that um, you, you – Send me your scratch work, okay? All right. For most of you, uh, you know, as long as your scratch work looks like stuff that we've done in class and, um, and you know, uh, you, you don't mysteriously guess correctly on 12 of 13 problems, then you <laughs> just leave you alone. Um, but when your scratch work starts to look like stuff that I, I have never done, then I start getting real suspicious about how you got the answer, Okay. And people say, oh, I, I saw it on Khan Academy. Well, you have to explain to me what you saw. All right. So, uh, you know, as long, as long as, like I say, as long as everything looks like what we've been doing, then, then generally I'm just going to leave you alone. All right. So with that being said, uh, we're out of time for today. We're actually in the overtime today. So I appreciate you hanging in there. Uh, we will see you back here on Monday at uh, 945. So thank you for being on. With Everybody take care. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. No, I love you, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Okay, until next time, take care of yourself and Bye. each other. See Bye.